Well, I think had we all known that there was not WMD, uh, I think that there had been certainly less, at least on my part, a rush to war. I do not want to mislead you, however. I do think and did think that the proposition of removing Saddam Hussein was an eminently sensible one. I had some questions about the timing. I would have preferred to wait until Afghanistan was more consolidated. Uh, but the notion of removing something, uh, someone who had invaded his neighbors twice in the past and had used uh, WMD and his own people, who was shooting at our uh, aircraft and British aircraft every single day, was an eminently sensible one. So uh, as I say, that proposition was not one that found disfavor with me. Well, I think in, initially public opinion was uh, very favorable towards uh, the war, and I think it was because of the fear that that remained after 9-11. I think uh, for a long time after 9-11, even in some parts of the, the country now, we were exporting our anger and our fear uh, rather than the more normal exports that the United States has, which hope and optimism and enthusiasm and opportunity. Uh, and I think that led to uh, sort of uh, almost an ebullience uh, as uh, we moved to war with Iraq. Uh, certainly the fact that the U.S. Congress and the U.S. press had been, in my view, cowed uh, by the events of 9-11 and were not uh, proceeding in a, an oversight way made it a lot easier for the administration to go to war.